Hi everyone, Mature Simmer here. So, welcome to what at best is just going to be a short series of episodes at this point in American Truck Simulator. I am at this point trying to get my special world of trucks special event dealt with, which means I need to deliver things to 12 Montana cities. And I've decided I'm going to go ahead and work on that because you always get new paint jobs, um, little, little things to put in the truck, but it's just an accomplishment to get done. Plus I get to see Montana, which I may not do in the Coast to Coast series for a little bit. So I'm going to at least try to make a little bit of progress. We've got to get this done by September 25th which shouldn't be that bad. So at this point, my truck was in Boise. I didn't start right when I started because I'm just trying to get, you know, two certain things. So hauling car parts from Boise to Helena. So I'm going to wait until I get to Montana at this point and we'll kind of see first impressions. Profile I'm using is an original profile that I've played the game with kind of from the beginning. So this driver is level 41. They are, uh, and we've got an extensive empire. Um, I just hired three more drivers, put a, a uh, it's actually I think I'm going up to Kalispell. Sorry, I bought a garage in Helena. So I just bought a new garage. I had almost $900,000 in the bank. So I bought a garage, three trucks, hired three drivers. So I now have 92 drivers working for me. So it tends to mean I get a lot of notices of money coming in, which is nice because I just get to keep expanding. But that gets you up to speed of where I'm at. So there we go. We've got some income there, 7300 So usually make some pretty quick money here, especially for regular drives. I'll be back when we're getting close or are in Montana, and we'll uh, see you then. All right, I'm going to pick up here because I believe I'm going to go to the right, assuming I don't have to go to the way station. At this point, we are basically coming through to the road that's going to get us to Montana. It's going to take us through Missoula and then up to Kalispell. And so since this is undiscovered road, I know it'll be new. Let's see where we can turn here. So yeah, my hope trucker is from when we had the COVID vaccine halls that we were doing a little while back. So that's my mirror ornament right now. But here we go. So I believe this road was added. So you can see we've got 136 to Missoula. I don't know why low, low, low has um, X's, but it does. So this profile doesn't have any map updates. It just has, uh, you know, the real companies, things like that, and then uh, extended traffic lights. So kind of the gameplay things, but no map options. Yeah, and I don't know if this is just really gorgeous because it's the new stuff, but this is pretty sweet, I will say that. So I knew this would be, you could tell on the map, it was just a lot of curves. So I knew it would be a lot of mountains that we'd be heading into. We've got 225 miles to go, 13 actual minutes. So a little bit of a place to pull off. And certainly if we do hit any cutscenes or anything like that, I'll certainly take advantage of that because, again, this is just to enjoy Montana is what these are these videos are for however many of them I'll 
I'll put out and I'll just kind of release them as they come along so I'll end up throwing them out uh, over the next few weeks I'm sure um, I'm just here a couple days and then I won't be able to do stuff I'll be out of I'll be out for a week a little over a week so I, I'm not sure that I'll even get this episode published before I head out but may do that just to have some sharing going on you know I'm sure maybe people who are really interested have seen it other places but I figured I'm in here I'm doing it I'll go ahead and share it initially since it's a couple weeks since it was released I wasn't necessarily going to because what I tend to do is I'm just gonna find jobs that will get me this achievement as quick as possible they have to be at least a hundred miles nice job 11,000 but yeah I've got some pretty seasoned drivers so sometimes I get some pretty significant jobs that show up but I've got I think 20 drivers that are still at the point of leveling up I usually try to get to four long distance points before I move them from long distance to balanced but yeah mid-afternoon I've got six hours in theory I should be able to deliver without resting because it's four hours to deliver seven hours till I need to rest so Let's see how that goes got some trees kind of blown by the wind or something pretty nice I do have the US police card pack on here too but I don't know that there are any Montana ones now again that there may be Idaho ones we're still in Idaho so that police car that went by might have been what Idaho State Troopers look like I don't know but yeah my truck is pretty powerful the other thing I don't know that I shared was uh, yeah I'm, I was going from Boise so that's the garage that I'm stationed in so I was pretty close and so you can see you know the nice thing with having so many drivers is sometimes you just get there's another police car sometimes you just get lots and lots of money coming in all right entering the mountain time zone and there's the Montana border sign very nice very nice okay well, there's a low low hot springs but low low is still showing as X's so interesting So this will count as a delivery. I think I think it's deliveries. It's not uh, uh, just simply touching or discovering the cities or taking off from them. So it's going to be 12 different loads, but if I can get things pretty quickly, I'll certainly do that. It's just a question of what will be generated for the world of trucks jobs because the other issue is those have to be done in certain real-time time frames and therefore I can't say hey I'm gonna grab one and then finish it in the morning for example because it probably will expire But yes, now we are officially in the Montana DLC. So, really, really nice. I've driven through kind of this space a little bit. I've come into Missoula before and driven from there. So, this is a low, low.
don't have to stop, so that's nice. Turn left. So we can see the flag there. Very nice, very nice. Now that just says Highway Patrol, but might be a generic one. Missoula's 37 miles away. Obviously we've got a police car, so I've got to be careful that I'm not speeding, but wow, this truck speed limit is 60. The road sign said 65, but so I'll still go 65. For the world of trucks jobs, we are speed, li speed limited to 65 anyway. So can't go any faster, and that's just to make it fair for folks. So that someone, especially if there's some contest that is due X number of jobs in some time period, uh, that way they're not able to speed and, and get finished a lot faster. But I will tell you, this looks similar. It was kind of small hills and so forth where we flew into Missoula and then yeah we would head north toward left Glacier and then turn left. so there we go we're gonna get our achievement first first Montana town I've discovered turn left. probably won't get all 15 at this point but again I think I'll be driving through some that I'm not stopping at so it could happen but we'll see Got a Waffle House. Very nice. Just kind of taking in the scenery from the outside there. Get a little better view. So for those who do follow the Coast to Coast series that I've been playing, uh, the Reforma patch has come out. So I have found that. So those will be able to be resumed without dropping any maps other than obviously um, Montana. And then we'll just have to see what happens with some of the others if we run into some weird problems with coast to coast or midwest expansion because some of those are updated for 145 but they're not necessarily ensuring that they work with the Montana DLC so hopefully we won't have any issues there If I can find another short one, I may just go ahead and do that and get a couple of these knocked out. So yeah, I think the first one I was able to do was when Colorado came out. And I think I needed to... I think we only needed to get 10 cities there, but there's obviously more cities in Montana because I think they said there's 15 and they just need you to deal with 12. Just trying to keep track of the speed. I didn't think this was still Missoula, but it may be. This is I-90. Yep. Junction 90. Coeur d'Alene. We can go to Butte on 90. We have to go on 90 because we can't continue. Slow down a bit. Pizza Hut. Starbucks coffee. All kinds of things. 
And of course, the magic of Macy's. So, a little over a hundred miles away. Just to give you an idea, there we are. So yeah, I don't think we're actually going to discover any other cities on the way here. Thing as you can see with Kalispell, though, we can go to Havra, Great Falls, Thompson Falls will be a little trickier. But there's some cities that are really close together, and that's the problem with the 100 mile minimum. Just got to be careful that I don't do anything too terribly close, but to move along quickly, if I can just kind of go city to city for the most part, that will help that one area where there's two cities right next to each other. Again, we've just got to get 12 out of the 15, so I can just get a delivery to one of them. Still discover both, probably, but... I guess we are still in Missoula. Alright, so getting on the interstate. Oop guess not. I'm just getting going from one exit to the other. And there's Kalispell, which is where we are headed. Get ready to turn right. So in Train Simulator, if you watch that on the channel, I have been playing the Marias Pass series and Kalispell is the end of that line. We do have a stop sign. I'm glad I looked. <laughs> Instead of just assuming that they had gone and everything was good. It is a strip mall, it says. 94 miles to Kalispell. We've got 89 miles to deliver. So we're not going to go entirely there. So we may not actually get it discovered. But we may when we do a pickup, because that may be more in town. Hmm, interesting little archway there. Oh, I think those are the uh, wildlife crossing paths that they do over roads. So it provides a way for the animals, because sometimes they'll also have paths underneath, but that way they don't cross the road and run the risk of cars and animals colliding. So on. I think that's what that was. But, mm, nice windmill. Just the old farm. Oops. He's slowing down a bit to move over there. Yeah, this load is pretty light. I think it's only 18,000 pounds. I mean, at the way station, I think we were still 47,000, but that's obviously the entire truck. Telling me three real-time minutes. Uh, just got to be careful I don't run into him there. Once again, I think it's 65 and I'm not able to go faster. Uh, I've got a plane up there. Another Burger King. All right. Let's see if we can at least get past the truck before they merge. All right. I think Vlad was one of the guys I... Whoa! That was a late merge. I don't like that car. Not very nice. little 
little bit of water. Some interesting apartments or something. Keep right and then continue straight on. I was gonna say, I can't turn right. Oh, no such luck. I was hoping I could get through town here Go straight on. without any light problems, but that didn't happen. So you can see the money kind of keeps pouring in. I think we've made like 50000 or something just in the time I've been since I've started this trip. So I'm definitely at the point where I'm making a lot more money from others than I am from me. But this took a long time. This is the truck I bought. You can see I'm approaching 68,000 miles. So I have done a lot of driving in this truck. So I think I just broke 10,000 miles in the Coast to Coast series. So you can see I've got a long way to go. And then continue straight on. All right, Main Street. Go straight on. Uh-huh. It looks like we might have a viewpoint to take a peek at here. So this is the Armed Forces Memorial Bridge. There we go, a new viewpoint. Where is it? Looks like it's over on the left. So we'll pull over and we'll take a peek. We'll see what we see. See a covered wagon over there. All right, Jennifer, twenty-five thousand. So we're at Polson, Flathead Lake. Ah, this is a giant, giant lake. We did pass this. Um, so we'll see how much we see here. But I believe this would be the biggest lake in the state. A little bit of airplane over there. Flying overhead. Nice sound. It might happen every time you view the cutscene, or it might just be the timing we had. So pretty nice. So that's the intersection we just went through from Main Street. It's a modern art festival. That's the motel that we had just passed that was on the lake. And a view of the city. So for the lake, it's kind of strange that they're <laughs> spending time looking at the city that's nearby here, or the town that's nearby, but they are. Still not not quite done, but same bridge, just kind of instead of going forward, we're now pulling back. Nice playground over there. I think we're done. There we go. All right. So we'll just kind of take a look as much as we can. I think we're okay. I don't see anything in the mirror. We'll continue on. And so that also helps with our achievements. So yeah, the other funny thing, so got a funny Montana story. So we honeymooned in Glacier, that's where um came up through Missoula and then went to Glacier. And of course, just like a lot of the states out west, there are Indians Indian reservations and so forth. And so along the road we were driving, uh, they talked about, and I think it was Blackfeet or something like that, were the tribe that's more prevalent. And so they'd have town names in English, but then also in the Native American language. And 
So as we saw towns, we kind of had that in our head and we came across this really interesting looking town name and we were like, uh, it's, you know, Indian names, like what would it be? And so, you know, we, we saw this name, we f thought, well, this I think is what you would say. And so we had gone ahead, oh, this might be a recruitment station. And when we arrived where we were going, you know, we were chatting with people and you know, we came through this town and we said, you know, it was Ninipipis, I think, is what we thought it was, because it, it sounds kind of Indian. And Go they're like, Ninipipis, I, I'm not familiar with that, I, I don't know. And then they asked us to write it down, and then maybe they could tell us. And come to be told that it was nine pipes just put together as a word but um yeah we felt a little stupid but it was fun you know we get a laugh out of it all the time our indian ninapipis but so it did theoretically have something to do with indians because oh it's a truck dealer it's a freight liner even Ooh, my favorite as you can tell from what we're driving but there we go. So it's my favorite, but it's an expensive truck, so all my drivers get Peter belts. But all right, so we're going to the Ford dealer with the car parts. I do not think we discovered oh, Kalispell, so I don't think we're gonna get it. That discovery. Whoops. We are not, in fact, going to get that discovery, unless it happens in the next few feet. Given that there's all these delivery points, we got tractor supply, Kiwit, and uh, Ford. You would think it would give it to us, but and it might. Sometimes it's just crossing that boundary of an intersection. Looks like we've got a pretty good truck stop out there. Good size. So yeah, pretty nice. Settling in at dusk. So the nice thing with the... Keep right and then turn right. The, uh world of trucks jobs is since they are time based like I can take one now and then go rest and still like it won't go, it won't go away like the other ones did so I think we're delivering back here somewhere so I'm gonna go ahead and get that taken care of and uh, you know, I'll see you in a bit All right, so you can see here I've got one of 12 all right, so I'm going to take this one from Kivit to uh, Thompson Falls, which is next door, but it's 151, so that'll work. All right, so I need to rest, so you can see overnight, I'm now up to $635,000. So you can start to see why it's nice to have some drivers. So got to get over there Keep right and then turn right. so you're gonna see all my drivers scrolling across turn the top right. people keep leveling up doing other things all right I should be able to turn right on red I would think So the good news is we tend to not get too many that can't deliver. It happens sometimes. Obviously we saw that one. Get ready to turn right. oh. And there's Jana who couldn't find one. All right, I think I need turn to go right. in here. This is where it ends. So I think I saw it over here. Yep. Oh boy. 
This one's going to be a bit of a trick to pull out. It's one of those big pickup trucks, the Volvos, that got added in a little while back. So I'll have to grab that and pull out appropriately. Get ourselves connected. Reset our trip meter. Hmm. And I can't really see the trip meter there, but that's all right. But again, we've got a pretty good sized truck. So hauling something even this heavy shouldn't be a big deal. This is an articulated trailer, so it's going to be a little bit of a trick that way. But this tells me nine minutes. And I think, yeah, Veronica's a new one. So we'll head out here. But nine real time minutes, three hours, 151 miles, as it said. And then I think the, like delivering to Missoula, I don't think would work because if I get one from Thompson to Missoula, I'm gonna, I think that's too close. So I'm going to go ahead and drive. I'll wait until I'm headed somewhere where I'm not just backtracking over what I did to get here to Kalispell. So once I turn off and start heading back north to Thompson Falls, I will join you back up. All right, so here we are getting on to I-90. I think this will be pretty brief. Could be wrong, though. But I think this is going to be the same thing. It'll go to the next exit, but we can see we're kind of at a non-discovered section, so I think the plan will be to kind of show you where I'm doing that kind of driving, just so you get to see as much the new things as I do. We're down to about 54 miles, it's telling me on the dashboard, so again, as I said, going from there to Missoula, which is kind of where we're at here, where we got on at 90, is not going to be enough to qualify. So if I come back and deliver something to Missoula, it's going to have to be from somewhere else. Right so right. my best bet from here will be to take something to Butte, I think. Right. And then I just don't know if places like Helena are far enough away from Butte, right. but we'll see as we go along in the future. Turn right. uh, I don't want to take that sign out. So I had enough room to swing. Ooh, 28,000. That was a nice one. Melanie Q. I think she's been around for a while. So yeah, I've... Basically with the amount of people I had, I was initially thinking, well, one of the unique things I can do is I'll just hire ladies as drivers. So I've hired every female. They're, the uh, recruitment agencies are not giving me women anymore, so at this point I think I have exhausted the pool of females in the game. And the men are now what I have to go with. So when you see someone like Vlad or something like that, you know they were hired recently but the women could have been hired at any point. So, train going through the 
mountains. But yeah, so Thompson Falls to Butte would be over 100, but to Missoula will not be. And that, I think, will be the best option if I can get it. The challenges were limited because I think there were only five Montana cities that I could get to from Kalispell. So we don't always get a path. Now I could have gone to Butte from there, but and I would think Butte would have a lot of stuff going on. It's one of the, I think, bigger cities in Montana. Alright, so I do see we have a stop sign, and oh, I just saw our delivery point show up. So, really nice rugged mountains ahead of us. So, we're kind of going a little bit more calmly along, a little bit of cattle. would be nice if I could also get a... Uh, like a waste hauling job or something in this process. Just don't know that that'll happen. Because that's one of the new major industries in Montana that I re have read about. You can actually haul like a garbage truck, but I think there's a few other things that you can haul as well. So as far as the skill points, if I recall, I think I have everything unlocked at this point and have for several levels. I did level up after the last delivery, by the way. I went from level uh, 41 to 42, I think, or maybe I went to 43, but I leveled up, whatever it was. And we just did Discover Thompson Falls. Well, whatever that is, I'm guessing it's a logging area. It might be an interesting one to go up and grab, but I'm thinking it'd be kind of spooky to come back, but we'll see. Again, what kind of contracts we find. This one, uh, it's a bridge over the train tracks. So there's a FedEx, but here and then turn right. it's something in Smith that it's taking us to. Turn right. Just need to peek because, again, with this articulated trailer, the way it works, I'm going to want to swing pretty wide here. All right. So that worked. The question is going to be, where do they want it? And can I get there? Hmm. Looks like right over there, just on the other side, but... So I think if I pull in here and then go as far as I can, don't really have a choice. Got to cross the train tracks here and then turn. This is going to be a tough one. We are here. Not sure I'm going to be able to pull this off, but that is where it goes. So let's see. I want to swing as wide as I can because then I need to just line up here. So the question is, will I have enough to straighten out? I'm not sure that I will. I hope I will, but I don't know. Alright, we did. Alright, so we've got two of two. But at this point, I'm going to call it a night, and I'll wrap this episode up. I'm sure it's been long enough. I'll see you next time.